Lord, it's your world, we're just living in it Don't you tell me how to feel, I'ma feel my way Y'all have died on the crossroads on the third day Lord, it's your world, we're just spinning in Lord, it's your world, we're just living oh. in I definitely can see why that went viral. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Do you believe in life after addiction? You better believe it. Believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it. Now, the host of Life After Addiction. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Life After Addiction. My co-host is currently asleep, and now he is awake. What's going on, brother? Some early morning workouts, man. <laughs> <laughs> why are you uh <laughs> early morning workouts why uh why was that humorous <laughs> just, you know exactly why dude. it's just funny right no tell me it's just far-fetched well is it? <laughs> okay. i'll have you know i uh got up early and got on the bike did you hit the sauna actually yeah dude your wife can verify my wife was working out too okay okay she goes to the gym though i just got a bike in the garage okay we got a treadmill in my garage i've used it a couple times to what stack stuff on yeah <laughs> my cat sleeps on it i don't know how i feel about the laughter that just took place guys i mean that was uh a little bit insulting I mean, it's also just the way you said it though right like you said it as if like this was very far-fetched yeah no i didn't every time <laughs> i uh every time i work out in the morning i seem to hit a wall earlier in the afternoon but that's fine i guess that's a good thing yeah i woke up feeling funky today so hopefully i'm not getting sick yeah yeah hopefully anyways <laughs> uh, i think we have a cool one today man we have a uh we're reacting to another song uh, but we believe that maybe you've heard the song, but you didn't know the name of it. Uh, it's called Pretty Little Devil. And I don't know. I think it's very popular in social media, TikTok, viral on TikTok and Instagram, stuff like that. Uh, I caught it and I was like, oh, yeah, this is pretty smooth. It's got a vibe about it. It's got a vibe okay. about it. So we're going to react to it. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really relate to addiction or anything like that. But, I mean, I believe it is um talking about temptations and things like that and it's it's pretty cool so we'll knock that out any any uh housekeeping stuff we need to do carlos we got the seasoning that's we man we've started selling some of the seasoning so you better get some is very limited to supply so um we've sold probably 20 percent of it um it's moving go and get it it's doing good you can go and get that right here at s2l.net what else carlos any um any new members let's look yeah, I remember doing Blessed. Oh, yeah, seven months ago. But Dory, I don't believe. Do you re I know Robbie. Robbie's my buddy. I don't remember buddy. Dory. So shout out, Dory. Thank you for uh, becoming a member of the channel and sowing a seed. What is a channel? What When you become a member, Chitty, what do they get? Let's hear it. <laughs> so you see, what they get is... Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam, what do they get? <laughs> they get the love and knowledge of knowing they're sewing into an amazing ministry. That's right. They get a percentage off of all of our uh, stuff at S2L.net, including the spices and the, the, the stuff we just talked about. Uh, the stickers. So you the stickers on the back of here. Man, my favorite is the Butt God. What is it called? Transit Transfer? Yeah. The transfer sticker. Man, that's pretty slick on the back of my truck. Uh, they also get a shout-out on the episode. Uh, they get a loyalty badge. What else? A little special emoji, but really, it's not. It's not what they get is not much. But they're they're sewing into this ministry of life after addiction, um, and it's pretty cool. Also, a special announcement. I don't want to tease it too much, but there is going to be a new show come to this channel. We filmed it uh, last week. Okay. Um, one of our previous guests is the host. And it's more of a vlog style. Tell us what you think. If you think a vlog is going to be pretty cool. But I don't know. We'll probably drop that in the next week, two weeks, something like that. And I think it's going to be pretty special. But it's just basically a day in the life uh, at a addiction rehab. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or did you make an appearance? I think, yeah, Chitty made an appearance. I may or may not have. You yeah. have to tune in to see. <laughs> so what else? Anything else? I think that's it. Should we just dive in? Let's dive in. Let's go. Pretty Little Devil by... I can't. Can you? Let's go. Yeah. Can, I can't. I'm, I'm getting older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. What's the name? Zamora. 
go ahead okay. and hit him with that first. Shia Zamora. Let's go. <laughs> thought is obviously i mean i he's talking about wicked things like that it almost seems like he's talking about a woman uh, maybe uh someone he entered a relationship with um but i don't know definitely blood sucker i should have known this stuff wasn't good for me moving away from it let's see pretty little devil liar and cheater cold-hearted blood-sucking little leecher yeah, man. I mean, the adversary, the Word of God says that we battle against flesh and we battle against our adversary. And it's not against, uh, like, our own flesh, you know what I mean? Our mm-hmm. own desires, not literal flesh. But we don't battle. We battle against cosmic things. And our adversary is definitely a leech, man. He's trying to suck the joy. The enemy comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, and so, yeah, man, he hates us. Yeah, that's that's what I was picking up from that so far is just like the battle against my own sinful desires, the battle against my own flesh. You know, um, each person is lured and enticed um, by their own sinful desires and then desires lead forth to, you know, death eventually. But, yeah, I just think about that whole time whenever he's singing that, just the battles that we have against our flesh and how it's contrary to the spirit of God and how God calls us to live. Oh no, bleeding all the same, maybe I already know Tell me that you love me, baby, I know that you don't I don't know if you see me, baby, baby, I don't need a small job And I don't know how it is to see how fast I'm going says monster oh you turned me into a monster i know when if we're bringing it back to um the the wickedness that you and i both share in this in our past and things like that drugs uh addiction um it definitely turned me into a monster man i I went further than i ever thought i would go oh yeah i did things that i never thought i would do and that's not just cliche i'm not just saying that oh you know i'll take you further than you want to go and keep there longer you want to stay you know you hear that saying but legitimately, man, I grew up with loving parents. Um, I grew up going to church. I had, I knew the difference between right and wrong. And I was a good kid coming up, man. Played sports, had good friends. I wasn't out doing crazy things, stealing and all that. And man, when I got hooked on that feeling, uh, when I turned to the idol to please myself, to have that drug, to uh, fix whatever I needed to numb or fulfill whatever hole I was trying to fill, Dude, I turned into a monster, for real. I literally went further, and like looking back, it's like, oh, I really did that to people. I really manipulated this for myself, man. I was a monster, dude. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it was, like you said, I did things I never thought I would do, said things I never thought I would say, hurt people I never thought I would hurt, and that was continuous every single day steal from people for years on end and uh yeah addiction really does feel like the most hopeless thing you'll ever go through it's the most selfish um way we could ever live our lives and uh it's sad when your own loved ones are telling you hey you're killing us with your actions Mm -hmm. and then your actions just continue to stay the same for years on end so yeah i didn't know who i was for many years and the person i had become was evil he was a monster it was somebody that i did not recognize and when i think back to those things you know uh, praise god that i have the lord but i'd never be able to forgive myself for just a couple of the things i did let alone the laundry list of things that that i did because of addiction yeah and i mean we're already halfway through the song this is a shorter song it'll be a shorter episode but just to speak on that a little bit more man that that's exactly right you hit the nail on the head like the hardest person for me to forgive was myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and I see that we, so if you're just tuning in, maybe you did recognize this song you're seeing this, this is a podcast called life after addiction. 
Uh, Chitty and I had a life of addiction, um, went through secular rehabs, tried things the way the world says, and then, man, we, we met Jesus and everything changed. Um, but, yeah, man, not forgiving myself. But in this space, I think that's a theme too, man. People that come to us in the darkest seasons of their life, um, some awful things we've heard some awful stories of what's been done to people that had them turn to drugs and alcohol and even in those situations man it seems like a theme the hardest person to forgive is always ourselves uh going down this because we look back and it's like man i was a monster dude yeah that's not who i was yeah so that's interesting pretty little devil you maybe turn to a monster what was the lyric there again just so i don't butcher it monster oh you turned me to a monster yeah, Lord protect me from the wicked. Hmm. Let me let him know your name. Let me yeah. let him know the pain. Sacrifices you made. Won't let him be in vain. Lord, it's your world, we're just spinning in it. Lord, it's your world, we're just living in it. Don't you tell me how to feel, I'm a feel like my that, way Y'all would die on the cross, rose on the third day Third day, Lord, yeah. it's your world, we're just spinning in it. Lord, it's your world, we're just living in Bless the Lord let me, go, let me go back, let me hear that again Ooh. That was nice <laughs> Okay, oh, nice wow. Most replayed, Carlos said Lord, it's your world, we're just living in it Don't you tell me how to feel, I'ma feel my way Y'all would die on the cross, rose on the third day Lord, it's your world, we're just spinning in it Lord, it's your world, we're just living in it Bless those you curse, bless those you hurt And if do you see, gather the church, the church. Oh, Oh, I definitely can see why that went viral. Man. Even the production on that song is crazy. Go to the lyrics that you had up there a second ago, yeah. just for like that last verse. Don't you tell me how to feel. Mm. I'm gonna feel my way. Yahweh died on the cross, rose on the third day. Lord, it's your world. We just spinning in it. I can see how that went viral, man. I think hits. I think <laughs> hits. The beats, that's nice. The uh, especially, like, yeah, like let me tell them. Yeah, let me tell him about your name or something like that. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Good song. What was the name again? Uh, pretty Little Devil. Pretty Little Devil by Shia Zamora. Yep, yep. Shia Zamora, something like that. Good song. Um, it's kind of a good little hype song, man. Yeah. Christians, you know, kind of yeah. get it in there. You know, it talks about the the wicked one and you kind of calling him out. Uh, but then it says, what does it say? Let me, let me let him know your name. I like that. That's pretty cool. Let me let them know your name. Lord, is your world we're just spinning in it. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, man. So final thoughts. Um, I told no, you it'd be a shorter one. Yeah, I think it's a good song. Um, let them know your name. Let them know your pain. It says sacrifices you made won't let them be in vain. Mm. Uh, man, I would say if you don't know the Lord, give your life to the Lord. It's the best decision that I've ever made in my entire life. The life I live now is not a life that I once lived prior to this as adam said you know we struggled with addiction for over a decade each and uh i, I became a monster i became a shell of myself i mm -hmm. became became hopeless and uh wanted to die for many years and then i found christ and everything changed my per uh, perspective my attitude uh my eternity where i'm going everything like that drastically changed when i came to know the lord and so uh what do you have to lose is all i would say if you're struggling uh, against your f uh, flesh if you're struggling with addiction if you're struggling with these things in life and it seems hopeless and it seems like there's no way out what do you have to lose by by seeking the lord you know even if you don't believe that's a good prayer to start you know god help me to believe in you if you're real reveal yourself to me um and that's where it starts yeah yeah man i think i keep saying monster because the song did but even it says monster oh you turn me to a monster lord protect me from the wicked then it goes straight into let me let them know your name and it's like yeah, I, I was by nature a child of wrath. I was mm. I was worshiping 
an idol of a drug this big. I was doing everything. I, I would I would imagine looking back, I never thought this, never said this, and I've said this on the podcast, obviously, but looking back, I was never thinking this way or saying this, but I was worshiping, I was worshiping me as an idol, as a god, uh, lowercase g god, and then I became a monster. Um, and in the darkest season of my life, uh, I had lost everything but God. He whispered to me in the deepest part of my soul, he said, Adam, I love you. And that wrecked me. And now, man, all I want to do is let me let them know your name. Mm. Let me let them know your name. Amen. Just because there is freedom from this world of bondage in the name of Jesus. And that's life after addiction. You better believe it. Let's go. Come on. Thank you for listening to this episode of Life After Addiction. Life After Addiction is a production of S2L Studio. For more Christ-centered addiction recovery resources, please visit s2l.net. That's S, the number two, L, dot net. For more information about S2L's licensed and accredited residential program, please visit s2lrecovery.org. That's S, the number two, lrecovery.org.